Hello everyone, welcome back to the Fat Hipster channel. This is John, and this is my third video of the day today, but it's not for you. Today, I'm going to be doing a review of a beverage. I have tried seven different varieties of this already. This will be number eight. In fact, it's called Curious Number Eight. If you're familiar with my other seven videos, this is a company called Curious Elixirs. At CuriousElixirs.com, you can purchase any of these items currently. Um, I do believe that this one is limited, so this could sell out relatively quickly. It's the brand new variety. Um, and Curious Elixirs is just a company that makes alcohol-free cocktails that are bottled, and they all are either their own unique thing or they're trying to be similar to uh, another cocktail. This one is actually supposed to be a, a digestif. Um, a digestif is something you drink with your dessert or after a meal to help you digest. And this uh, number eight is supposed to be similar to a digestif called Amaro, which is an herbal liqueur that is sometimes like syrupy sweet. It could be anywhere between 16 and 40 percent alcohol, alcohol by volume. And it's usually drinking neat or on ice, sometimes with tonic water or a citrus wedge. The way that they describe this one and how to drink it, they say that you could have it chilled and with a lemon peel on ice or in cocktails. This is the first bottle that I've seen from Curious 8 that I actually like suggest mixing their product potentially with alcohol, but that's not how we're going to try it. I'm going to give you a little bit of what they say on here. It says, get weird without getting wasted. Curious Luxury number eight, a booze-free black and blue digestif inspired by intergalactic after dinner drinks infused with legendary plants and mushrooms for a body boost. Invert before opening. Keep chilled and serve with lemon peel on ice or in cocktails. Use bottle stopper after opening. Store in fridge and consume within seven days. Here's what's inside of this bottle. Filtered water, blueberry, blackberry, fig juice, concentrates, extractives of gentian, acacia, ginger, lion's mane, reishi, chaga, mushrooms, blackstrap molasses, unrefined coconut, sugar, herbs, and spices. Some of those are denoted as organic. And it also says this is not reviewed by the FDA, not intended to be a cure or help you with anything. Um, they also have a little QR code that goes to a flavor quiz that's also on the website. Well, let's go ahead and open her up and taste it. First, it says to invert the bottle before opening. So we're going to invert it. I'm going to put it right back. I don't think that it meant like do this and then open it because that would make a mess. This is a twist top. That's pretty easy. It almost smells like beet juice, but there's no beet juice in it. I'm going to just take a swig from the bottle itself. It's like a really intensely concentrated dark berry juice. It does say it has blueberries, blackberries, and figs in it. And... I believe those are all supposed to be saying juice concentrates for those three items. And it's definitely a concentrated version of those juices. I have a cup that has ice in it. We're going to pour it in. Here's what she looks like. It's very dark. I'm going to do the other thing that suggests. I have myself here a freshly cut off lemon peel. I'm going to do a little bit of a uh, Massaging it over the glass to get express the oils out and onto around the glass and then I'm going to kind of do like a, a Rub down of the interior exterior of the rim of the glass because I've seen uh, Bartenders do this before so if they do it, it must be good you know, just, uh, Plop it right inside like that There you have it The number eight let's try it out 
prepare this way. I'm going to tell you what, with that fresh peel, I'm getting tons of lemony smells. I'm going to tell you what, it actually makes quite a bit of difference. Because tasting it straight, it was just a lot of intense, dark berry. The lemon smell livens it up. You almost your tongue is almost expecting citrusy tartness. So it kind of prepares for that. And it makes it less intensely dark berry. This definitely has a complexity of flavors. Like I said, the taste was really dark berry. The smell was kind of like beet juice almost. But I think that's all like the different mushroom ingredients giving it a more musty aroma. I could definitely see this see someone sipping on this after a meal. It kind of feels like a way that it's really gonna settle your stomach a lot. Like if you had, had anything that was like super spicy or super fatty that is really like creating a lot of activity down there. I could see this really as a, a calming situation. Overall, tasty. The Curious number eight from Curious Elixirs. This is definitely one that I would drink. And I think more often than not, they've made pretty good ones. There were a couple of them that I wasn't too big of a fan of. But definitely this one is one that I would say if the Amaro type uh, digestif is what you wanted to have, this would definitely be a great replacement for it. Anyway, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next episode of the Fat Hips channel. But until then, I'm going to have to tell you goodbye.